Welcome back to and this guides in today's video we are going to show you how to export or download emails in Gmail let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time on Gmail I need you to click on the create an account option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Exporting emails from Gmail can be done in a few different ways depending on what you intend to do with them, alright? Now, the first method that we are going to explore, if you haven't familiar with Google Checkout. Now, it is a service used to retrieve all files, emails, and more from a Google account. This service will put all the data into an export or zip folder that you can put on a flash drive, hair drive, or a cloud storage backup. Backup. Now, from here, all you're gonna do is scroll down to use the search bar to find mail or Gmail. Just hover down below where you can see the Gmail section. Or let's uncheck all of these for now deselect all and let's just choose the gmail just hover down below patiently look for it there you go now messages and attachments in your gmail account in mbox format user settings from your gmail account in json format and click on it of course it would include all the multiple formats and all mail data included all right after that all i'm gonna do is click on the this option down below and click on next tab of course you can choose a file type frequency and destination and of course you would see the export progress status here and from here you can transfer send down on link via email add to drive add to dropbox add to onedrive and add to box it's up to you on your preferences all right when your files are ready you'll get an email with a download link you have one week to download your files all right now you can have a frequency on export once, one export, export every two months for one year or depending, it's it's up to you, right? The file tab can be zip, which is very common, but if you don't need that, if you're comfortable with TJZ, that's okay. And zip files can be open in almost any computer. The file size could be limited to 1 gigabyte, 2, 4, 10 to 50. And exports larger than this size will split into multiple files. And of course, just click on create export. That's one way. The other way is we need to use a third-party Chrome extension. And the name of this specific service is called Mail Meteor. There you go. It's an extension wherein you can merge, follow up, and export emails in Gmail. Of course, it will help you do more with your emails. You can mail merge, send automated follow-ups, and export emails and more powerful features to bring your Gmail inbox to the next level. All I'm going to do is click this option, Add to Chrome, Add Extension, and voila, just switch over to your Gmail now. Now, once you have installed the extension, you see when you go to this specific file or spam or your inbox, you would be able to see an option that says export. All right, you can simply export messages and from here you can choose the date range is it going to be today last seven days last 30 days and all that you have a default nine columns where it includes the id thread date from two subject snippet labels and link and all they're gonna do is click on export or if you don't want to export all the uh, emails on your inbox you might want to go to the specific labels for example this one all you're going to do is click on this option and of course you would be able to export any emails that is associated in this section. All right. Now, remember that during exporting, Gmail has a storage limit and exporting emails can help manage your storage space by removing all their emails from the server management while retaining them locally or in another's um, storage because when switching to a different email service provider email allows you to migrate your old emails and of course maintain the continuity of your communication and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one